So to set up this situation, we took a 12 gauge shotgun. It was a Mossberg pump action. We put a 20 gauge shell in through the chamber. It slid down into the barrel a ways. Then we chambered a 12 gauge shell, the proper ammunition, behind the 20 gauge shell. And from a distance, with a rope, we pulled the trigger of that shotgun. And we were all very surprised with the results. <laughs> Today I'm here with my friend Cal, who's a hunter ed instructor extraordinaire. And he's going to be talking today about firearm safety. Yeah, we are, Travis, and, and nice meeting everybody out there. Uh, what we're really going to be focusing on is barrel obstructions and making sure that you have the proper ammunition for your firearm, whether it be a rifle, shotgun, pistol. You want to make sure that you've got the right caliber and the right gauge. And as far as obstructions go, it's very important to know that you've actually got your barrel clear before you even leave the house on your hunting trip or your shooting um, adventure, wherever it might be, in, in the field or at a target range. Now, Cal brought his son today, who's setting up a GoPro camera right here to document what happens to this shotgun, huh, young man? Yes, sir. All right, so the camera is going to be facing this 12 gauge pump action Mossberg shotgun. What he's going to do here is intentionally place a 20 gauge shell into the shotgun. That's one of the most common errors, as Cal said, is improper size of ammunition, in this case, the gauge of shotgun shell. It's important to know there's, there's three places where you can actually locate the caliber of ammunition you're using if it's a rifle or handgun or a shotgun. Um, on, the, on the head of the shotgun shell, it actually will have the gauge. Um, on the head of uh, ammunition, whether it be a uh, rifle or pistol also, it will actually have the, the caliber. It's also stamped on the outside of the barrel of the shotgun. It may be on the left side or it might be on the right side. You'll have to look around to find it, but it will be present on there. A third place to find it would actually be on the box of your shotgun shells. Okay, so we're going to put the 20 gauge shell in this 12 gauge shotgun as though you accidentally put the improper ammunition in the gun. And then behind that we're going to go ahead and load a 12 gauge shell, which is the proper ammunition for this shotgun. Go ahead and put it in this mount and then we're going to we're going to set this thing off. We want to do this in a safe manner so you guys don't try this at home. Just like Mythbusters says, we're trained professionals. <laughs> Excellent. We have got the GoPro on and ready to go. It is it is taping as we go or filming as we go. So we're ready to go. Do we need a countdown on this? Absolutely, Blake. I think you should give it to us, young man. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's see what happened. That shotgun pushed that 20 gauge shell right out through the end of the barrel. Here it is, a 12 gauge shotgun with two shells in it, and it did not catastrophically fail. However, there was some slight deformation to the barrel, and the vent ribbing slid forward. I would never try that with the gun in my hands, but it was a real eye-opener to try that in the field, the way we set it up safely. Okay, so we're gonna actually take the shotgun barrel. We've actually put a little bit of mud in it. We're gonna put some more mud in it, because we wanna uh, simulate a barrel obstruction. If you are out hunting and it's a muddy day and you trip and fall, it is quite possible to get mud stuck in the end of your barrel. So a barrel obstruction is something we definitely want to pay attention to here. Okay, this is a little bit overkill, but we want to show you exactly what uh, what could happen here. All right. Okay, gun is hot. Three, two, one. Oh man, that was a little scary. Yeah, <laughs> that came apart. <laughs> Alright, with the mud and dirt oh, packed in the barrel, this is the catastrophic failure we got. Look how that has just peeled open due to the force of that of that shotgun. The breach of this Mossberg shotgun is impressively durable. It blew up down in the barrel where it's a little bit thinner. That is just downright impressive.
All right, so we learned today that your shotgun can actually have a catastrophic failure if you get an obstruction in your barrel. And this, is, this was the result. It actually um, failed, it blew the barrel open, and this is where the wood slide would be where your hand would be. So if you were holding your shotgun, this is where your hand would be. Now, you might not lose your life, but I, I'm quite certain you'd have a lot of shrapnel in your hand and your arm, and uh, you'd be on your way to a, to a hospital for, for uh, emergency care. So we wanna make sure that we have a, our barrel clear of obstructions, and there's a couple ways you can do that. One way would be to actually have a, a metal rod, and I carry this metal rod with me when I actually go hunting. It's a brass rod, I just put it in my truck, that way if I am out and I drop my gun in the mud or something, I've gotta walk back to my truck, take the gun apart, and then I can actually push the obstruction out with just a simple brass rod. Just get some steel wire. Uh, it can be mechanics wire, uh, lighter gauge, heavier gauge wire. You can roll some of this up, put it in your backpack, especially if you're out big game hunting. You don't wanna have to walk a mile or two back to your camp to, to clear your obstruction. So you could take that wire, Cal, and tie a piece of a sock or rag to it and pull it through your barrel or push whatever um, obstacles in there and clear it out. Absolutely, yep. There, there's lots of different things you can do. The main thing is you'll wanna make sure you've got a clear barrel free of obstructions, any kinds of, you know, tw from little tiny twigs and leaves to, to mud, dirt, and rocks. Excellent, well, sure appreciate your um, excitement and enthusiasm in coming out here today. Cal's now gonna take this shotgun into his hunter education classes and be able to show those young hunters the reality of what happens if you're not careful in clearing your barrel of obstructions. And what number do you want me to start at? Whatever what number you want to start at. 93, okay. <laughs>